Aurelius, Serena, we're outside your fantastic coffee shop. So how, how much does it mean to you to be bringing coffee here to New York City from your home country of Ethiopia? People, when they think about Ethiopia, they always think about you know, the negative side, uh, right. about the droughts and, and the wars. And uh, I want to bring it that in a, in a positive way that is like, you know, the perfect coffee in the world. The best place of coffee is Ethiopia. Well, and it's so fascinating because you guys met in Ethiopia and you, Serena, were working on water issues. And so coffee, water, talk to me about this marriage of these two wonderful things. There, there would be no coffee without water. And water is really, you need it to grow the coffee, you need it to process the coffee, you need it to prepare the coffee. So without good water, um, there really is no good coffee. Well, so I'm thinking about this long history of coffee in Ethiopia, and I'm thinking about the history of water in New York City, and how lucky we are that over 100 years ago, New Yorkers made this investment in nature, in the Catskills, by protecting the forests, the mountains, um, and creating parks there that sends a billion gallons of clean, nature-filtered water to New York City every day. And it's interesting because one of the things the Nature Conservancy has done is um, we have lots of good ideas, but we also recognize really good ideas when we see them. And we're in the process right now of taking this model out to 125 million people by 2020 by having 40 cities replicate the model that New York City is using. I liked what you said about New York City um, and New York investing a long time ago. So it's we have to keep investing in order to protect that um, if we want to enjoy all of these things that we really enjoy, including this great cup of coffee. Nice. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. Well, cheers. Cheers. Cheers to people and nature and a great cup of coffee. Cheers. cheers.